Have you seen one of these before? Of course you have. It's a typical socket, right? But have you seen one of these before? Ah, look at that. It's got some pins in there. This is a universal socket, and I actually received this from my oldest son as a gift. Pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to reviewing this. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. And my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's take a closer look at this universal socket and see if it's any good. So here is the universal socket in its original packaging. Um, you can see here, it's good for one quarter to three quarter. And then if you're on the metric, you have seven millimeter to 19 millimeter. Um, so what we're gonna do is let's just open this up. All right, so this thing can be purchased for about I think it's 14 or $13 on Amazon. And what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description down below. Um, but just look at that, it's kind of cool. It's got these little pins that just point in and as you push something in here, um, it just grabs around. So I'll be interested to see how these hold up over time. Um, I do have this receiver piece here, which you're supposed to just put in the back and then place in your drill. So I've got my drill ready. All right, so there we have it. It's ready to go. So now I think we should get some bolts, get some screws, get some hooks, get all sorts of things and just put this thing to the test. All right, so here I have four different lag bolts, different sizes, and of course I have four different socket pieces in order to use them. So we're gonna try this universal socket end here and just see how it works. So if I took this lag bolt and I pushed it in, what's gonna happen, I think, is the pins are just gonna form around it. See how that, well, it's interesting how it doesn't form like an even space. I wonder how that's gonna be when we screw it in. But it's kind of a neat concept where the pins form around it. It does have a little bit of a play in there, so I'll be interested to see. One, can I take my drill and drive this in? And then two, how often can I do this? All right, so I'm pushing down. Oop, well, that's hard to hold it. Try it again. All right, there it goes. All right, so it bit into the wood. That's pretty good. Now let's try a different size. Pushing down, applying pressure. I don't wanna go down to, into the table. All right, so I'm, you know what? It's not too bad so far. All right, let's try this size. So I'm liking what I'm seeing. Now let's go to the biggest one. That's gonna be the best one. All right, let's see. Oh, I think this one just fits. All right, that's interesting, all the pins. So I have to have this one set perfectly. All right, so a little, little pressure. It doesn't bite as easy as the other ones. I don't know. There it goes. So it took both hands to use the drill, but I was able to get all of these in without any difficulty. And typically I would have had to use four different um, socket heads. So that was pretty good. So what do you think? Is this something we need to include in our toolbox or is it just a waste of money? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. All right, now let's see what they look like coming out. Let's start randomly. They come out pretty easy. Oh, it's stuck in there. Oop, pulled it right off. All right, I seem to be jammed in there. There. All right, let's try another one. The most difficult one to come in came out pretty easy. This one. I will say, if you don't get it exactly centered, it sort of wobbles as you're putting it in or screwing it out. 
All right, so they all came out pretty good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this a few times off camera just to see if it does anything to the heads here and I'll come back and show you that. So I ended up switching to the impact driver just because the drill wasn't cutting it. And so all I've done here about 20 or so times is I put it all the way down in and then I've taken it out. All right, so now that it's out, it's a little warm. Let's take a look at the at the head here. All right. Focus there. You see how it's chewed up there? That's why I was afraid of what would have happened. Since it's not an exact fit, it's just trying to grab it. Um, so even though you're probably not going to use the same bolt 20 or so times, I do see some wearing there. I'm, I am interested to see what this looks like. Um, all right. So if I bring it up here... I guess you can see some of the teeth in here or the pins in here have been eaten a little bit, but it's still holding up strong. There's a better picture. All right, so let's try some less common things to screw in. I'm not doing lag bolts this time. I've got some screw eyes here. I've got some wing nuts. So I'm interested to see. Now I have started two holes to drill just in case I'm not able to screw in these screw eyes. So let's try this first. So in a sense, what it's going to do, it's just going to push in there and just go around it. I'm hoping I can put it in, but some of the other things have been pretty wobbly. Oh, looks like I didn't need that pre-drilled hole after all. Now, it wasn't that easy to hold, but I was able to get it in. Let's try the smaller one. It's similar. Oh, no, I lost it. It is hard to hold, and this one being shorter, it's harder, so I'm going to put it in the pre-drilled hole. There we go. That's pretty cool. I like that. Now, the package tells me I can use this for um, wing nuts, so let's try that now. Um, I think that's too big. I have another one here. It's a little bit smaller. So let's see if that'll fit. All right. So maybe if I push that one in. Well, that made a little more sense. But then I couldn't go very far because this only goes in about a quarter inch before it's finished. Um, anyway, so I think for the lag bolts, although it did put some wear and tear on the edges, um, I think it's a good option for them. Maybe the screw eyes, if you pre-drill, not necessarily good for the wing nuts, in my opinion. In this video, we've been looking at a universal socket piece by a company called Comaware. And I will leave a link down in the description if this is something that you're interested in. Now, would I recommend you getting this? To be honest with you, it's really convenient. Because like I showed you before, in order for me to put those different lags in, I would have to have four different socket heads just to do that. Where here, I needed just one. I, don't, I can't tell you how many times I've gone to help out a friend at their house. I, I bring my toolbox. I go over there. We're working on things. And they don't have all the tools. And sometimes that's socket related. So I'm loving that I'm able to put this right into my toolbox, go help someone out. And I've got this universal socket. It's really convenient. And the price isn't that bad. Um, I will say some of the things I didn't care for, wing nuts, didn't make any sense. I do think that the screw eyes, this actually helped. As long as you could have a pre-drilled hole for some of the smaller one, it went in really easy because I do not like twisting these things in. They get aggravating. During the review, I did show this bolt that went, um, I, I screwed it in, I took it out. I did it about 20 times and there was some wear. And that was just to show you that there wasn't a perfect fit all the time on here. I should say... When you put in a bolt, though, you're just going to screw it in and leave it. You're not going to take it out and put it in and take it out. You know, does that not make sense? So I absolutely do think this is a great little addition to my toolbox. Jeffrey, that's my son, by the way, who just graduated high school. I do appreciate this gift for your father. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and have a great day. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of this universal socket piece. Now, 
I should say, for me at my house, I have a whole socket set. So if I need something, I'll probably buy a bunch of bolts that are the same size and go grab my socket set at my house. And I'll probably use that universal drill adapter, though, so I can drill these in. This is more of a convenience thing if I can't find something or, honestly, I just don't want to look for a socket piece or... I've lost a socket piece because I've surely done that. Anyway, not that long ago, I did a review of this thing called the Pipe Blaster. It gets rid of clogs and drains. And you know what? This seriously works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link that video right up here. And I would love it if you would go see it. Make sure you're logged in so you can see this rectangle pop up. And by the magic of the internet, I will join you at this review. Go ahead. Click it. It's safe. I promise.